back, true seeker. The purpose of this video is to address something once and for all. All flat earthers are liars to themselves and everyone else. Two things I find in this community are mental illness and complete ignorance. And it seems that it's one of those two things, if not both, that's behind the belief of all flat earthers. I just wasted the last three hours of my life trying to debate with a flat earther on a YouTube live stream. That channel was Brother Sanchez, who proved himself to be a fraud. And I suspect he's being paid to lie about flat earth on YouTube. If you witnessed the debate, you just saw what a con man he was. Let's go through the first three things that happened in the debate. He allowed me to make the first point. And the first point I made was how the stars above prove that the earth is not flat. After I got done explaining how you cannot see the north star in the southern hemisphere and you cannot see the southern cross in the northern hemisphere, his response was, well, I don't know anything about the stars, so I don't want to argue about that. So I said, fine, we'll just throw out the star point because there's other ways to prove that the earth is not flat. So what he did is he pulled up a picture like this and he goes, explain this to me. He goes, this picture is from 30 miles away with a camera that can zoom in. He goes, how come I can still see the buildings if the earth's flat? Because on a spherical earth, you wouldn't be able to see any buildings. And I said, well, I said, take a look at that skyline you're showing me. I said, notice you can't see the base of any buildings. And I said, from 30 miles away, the earth curves at a rate of eight inches per mile. So from 30 miles, you'll have 240 inches of curvature. I said, that's 20 feet. I said, if you look, it looks like about 20 feet of these buildings are missing from 30 miles away. And he goes, no, no, the reason you can't see the base is because of perspective. And then he stopped right there and he said to his audience, he goes, look at this man's face. Look at this man's face. He says, doesn't this man's face look evil? Man, I just came and made a nice point at the beginning. Then I let him go to his argument. Then when I got to respond, I responded how you couldn't see 20 feet. And he started to say it was because of perspective. And then he just stopped. And he said, my face looked evil. And then he asked his audience to write a plus one in the chat if they thought this globalist's face looks evil. <laughs> and I thought, wow, man. I said, look, dude, you just said that you can't see any curvature. But then I explained why you can't see the base of the structure. And your response is, first is perspective, which you didn't follow through with. And now it's because my face is evil. So then from there, it was, you know, flat earthers explaining their ignorance about the world we live in is proof that the earth is flat. And it wasn't just me versus bro Sanchez. He also had a panel of about seven other men on who were all flat earthers. And it was just, you know, I, for the first two hours, I was nice. And, and bro Sanchez just kept making these chippy comments about how my face look evil about how I must not have very many IQ points. And, you know, I would just grin and laugh. At the beginning of the third hour, when he said I was dumb, then I went off on him. And then he muted my mic, and then he went on this lecture. He said, you see these globalists? They're all evil people. Look how angry he is. And then he says to his audience, he goes, what, what reason does this man have to be angry? He goes, I'm just talking nice and calmly. <laughs> For the first two hours, he said multiple times my face looked evil. I had no IQ, you know, and I just let it slide for two hours. The third hour, you know, after just listening to a panel of fucking retards, which is exactly what every fucking flat earther is, then I let him have it. And I said, by the way, man, I said, look how skinny you are. I said, do you smoke crack? He wouldn't answer the question. Because people who are as skinny as him, they're usually crack smokers. If you haven't seen who Bro Sanchez is, he's like the real life Adam Lanza. They said Adam Lanza weighed 112 pounds. This motherfucker might weigh 80 pounds. Looks like a total crackhead. 
And that might explain, you know, I don't want to rip on crackheads, though. I actually know a crackhead who works for Boeing. He's a smart guy. Not all crackheads are fucking retarded. But this motherfucker is. So anyway, then all what so he said, he said, I'm going to upload this clip of Zach getting mad to show how bad a globalist attitude is. So if he does upload that video, just understand what a fucking con man he is. I put up with his insults for two hours and maintain respect and let him cut me off the whole time. Then I finally went off on him after he insulted me for the 50th time. And he said, and he even said to his audience, he goes, I'm going to upload this video right here and show what a globalist is. So see, none of you flat earthers, you can't explain shit about anything. You're all fucking idiots or you're straight up liars like bro Sanchez. You know, he provokes me for two hours and then he wants to upload a video because I'm cussing him out. You know, these people are a joke. You know, these are really dumb fucking people. You have to be so fucking dumb to deny this right here. How do you dumb motherfuckers deny the curvature of the earth? You fucking idiots keep writing that there's no proof of the curvature of the earth. What is this right here, dumb motherfuckers? Everywhere on this earth, you go 30 miles out, you're not going to be able to see the base of a structure. 20 feet are going to be covered up because of the curvature. You continuing to say that's not proof of curvature just makes you a fucking retard. And... You know, I'm going to start calling myself a fucking retard, too, if I continue to debate with these people. I just wanted people to see what it looked like when a flat earther debated somebody who knew what they were talking about. And if you watch the first two hours of me debate bro Sanchez, if he has the balls to upload that, you're going to see how fucking dumb he looks. His excuse about not understanding the stars is he doesn't know anything about him. <laughs> you know? And just how dumb he is. At one point, he goes, how do you explain the sun being 93 million miles away? You know, the flat earthers love to show sun, the sunlight coming through clouds and how it spears off as if that's some sort of argument that the earth's flat. I said, well, here, here we might find some common ground. I said, before this flat earth psyop even started, I was questioning if the sun is 93 million miles away. And I said, for your audience watching, because it was on his channel, I said, if you guys aren't familiar with my work, I teach some real knowledge that's provable. I explained what the code is, Kabbalah, where it comes from. And I started to explain the significance of the number 93 in the sun. And then he cut me off and put my mic on mute. He goes, we're not teaching that bullshit here. He said, this guy's trying to use the Bible to prove that the sun's 93 million miles away. <laughs> and then when he unmuted me, I said, I wasn't trying to prove that the sun was 93 million miles away. I was teaching you where this number comes from that has to do with 93 million and then he still didn't understand i should have just ended the debate right there and got off because i was just like look how dumb this man is this man is so fucking dumb he doesn't have any knowledge but he wants to claim the earth's flat so anyway let me finish the lesson i was trying to teach i'm hoping bro sanchez's panel will watch this who were all black men who I was trying to share some real knowledge with before he cut me off. And then he went on about how I was a shill, you know. <laughs> what was comical is he said, here on this channel, we talk about things we can prove. And he was dismissing what I was teaching about 93. So what I was sharing with them about the sun being 93 million miles away is this. There's a code from the Bible. It's called Kabbalah. It's the belief that God created the world with language by merging the letter with the number. That's why God speaks the world into existence in Genesis. And, you know, Brother Sanchez tried to make it seem like I was saying that this was proof that the sun was 93 million miles away, which was not my point at all. And I even acknowledged before I said it that I agreed with him that the distance of 93 was questionable, but this is where the number comes from. So look, God's son equals 93. Think about the term crucifix, 93. Think about the term Nazareth, 93. In Genesis, Adam lives to be 930 years old, and the 930th chapter of the Bible is where the Christian portion begins, the New Testament. And with regards to 930, check out Christianity in Sumerian Gematria. 930. You see? Very similar to 93. 93 with a zero on the end. Now look, the New Testament begins with the 42 generations to Jesus. New Testament, 42. The word Savior 
equals 42. The word sin equals 42. Going back to Egypt, there's the 42 laws of Ma'at, and the first law is to not sin. 42 laws of Ma'at, you know? What are the odds? 42 is this number that has been stamped all over black history. There's a reason Jackie wore 42. And in the Bible, Jesus is a black man. Bro Sanchez's panel was all black men. And I was just trying to get this point in, and he had to cut me off and then make it seem like I was crazy. And then he even had the nerve to say, you know, I wasn't an open-minded person. It's just, anyway, I'm hoping his panel watches because this knowledge is valuable. So, black history, 42 and 93. That's where we're going. February has reduction in gematria 42. Out of all the months with reduction in ordinal gematria and no other month sums to 42, the only other month that has a connection to 42 is May which is a special month in itself, has a lot to do with Freemasonry. Freemason also equals 42. You know, all the Masonic knowledge traces through Greece back to Egypt. Anyway, February, the only month that sums to 42. Think about how Jackie Robinson wore this number. Jackie, 42. If you've seen the sitcom Martin, Martin equals 42. He lives in apartment 42. Think about Martin Luther King Jr. Think about Malcolm X, 42. 42 just gets stamped on black history again and again and again in a million different ways. Think about the slang term brothers, 42. Think about the history on the bus, black history, 42. And there's just so much more. But the point is, 42 has been stamped on black history for a reason. In the O.J. Simpson trial, his birth name is Orenthal, Orenthal, 42. In that trial, it was said that Mark Furman used the word nigger 42 times in a single conversation. The word nigger equals 42. And look at this word carefully. Reduction is our most important cipher. The way it breaks down, N is the 14th letter, 1 plus 4 is 5, I is 9, G is 7, G is 7, E is 5, R is the 18th letter, 1 plus 8 is 9. So you have this 5, 9, 5, 9 sequence. Look at the word negro, 59. Look at the word slave, 59. Look at the word blues, 59. All throughout history, this number stamped on black history as well. February ends on the 59th day of the year. The awkward month, February 28th. Tiger equals 59. Woods equals 59. They just brought him back to golf on November 30th, 30 days before his 42nd birthday, December 30th. Notice, the word has gematria of 30 as well as 42. Brought him back 30 days before his 42nd birthday, his whole DUI thing by this racist code. All throughout history, black men have been shamed by this code. And it's not always shaming. Motown Records came out in 59 on the 42nd parallel. You see? In 59 on the 42nd parallel where Detroit is. This entire code goes back to the Bible. So, with regards to 93, notice Black History Month has gematria of 93. Black History Month, 93. The biblical knowledge is from where? It's from the region of the world where black people lived. Think about the most famous black Americans. Martin Luther King Jr., 93. Malcolm X, 93. Malcolm X. Martin Luther King Jr. They only met one time in history. They met on March 26th, 64. 3 plus 26 plus 64 is 93. That's the only time they ever met in history. They were both murdered at age 39. Segregation ended in 39. 
Think about it. 39, the reflection of 93. You just saw Mugabe get kicked out of office in Africa, in Zimbabwe, at age 93, on the first day of his 39th week of being 93 years old. The day he hit his 39th week of being 93, kicked out of office. This type of ritual goes on again and again, you know? Black men being injected with syphilis in a sick experiment that sums to 93 as well as 42 as well as 30. You see? Brother Sanchez, he wanted to cut my, off this knowledge that I was about to drop, you know, for him and men who should appreciate this. He wanted to cut me off and then go on a rant about how I was a shill and then get back into the flat earth, which he shouldn't even be talking about because he doesn't know anything about physics or the stars above. Th these are your flat earth teachers, people who just don't know what the fuck they're talking about, don't know what knowledge is good for them, really dumb fucking people. And he had the nerve to say what I teach is just based in belief and what? My work is all based in documented evidence and history that anyone can apply and prove. You know, you, you should have heard the way he proved things. I, I really does do hope he uploads the whole debate. At one point, he said, he goes, I know when I look at the sun, when it rises and when it sets, it's smaller in the sky than when it's directly above my head. And then I said, no, that's not true, man. If you take a filter or if you take filter glasses and look at the sun when it rises and when it's above the head, you're going to see it's the exact same size the whole way. If you take a camera with a lens that can look at the sun, you know, without the glare and, and all the consequences of that brightness, if you get the right lens with the right filter and you measure the sun, you're going to see its size doesn't change at all. He goes, okay. He goes, let me counter that. Let me go to my panel and let me ask them if they see the size of the sun change. And all of them go, yeah, I see it change. Yeah, I see it change. And then I came back. I said, man, that doesn't prove anything. You guys all think the earth's flat. You're using these bogus arguments. I said, let me give you a, a solid argument to prove all of you that you can't trust your eyes to measure the sun. I said, we just had an eclipse on August 21st. And if you didn't put on the glasses with the filter... You couldn't see the first 30 minutes of the eclipse because your eyes, they couldn't pick up on it being covered. But if you put on the glasses, you know, the sun was too bright. Even when it's getting covered the edge, you couldn't see it. Your eyes can't absorb it. There's just too much brightness. But if you put on the glasses, you could see it getting covered. Just like how at the end of the eclipse when it, the object was moving away from the sun, you couldn't see that end unless you had the glasses on. And Brother Sanchez even admitted in the debate, he goes, you know what, I, I did have that experience. Somebody put on the glasses and then I was able, or he said somebody gave me the glasses, I was able to put them on and see that the eclipse was happening. And I said, so see, you just proved my point. You can't look at the sun and make any measurements with your naked eye. There has to be a filter. See, this is why he doesn't want to upload the whole debate because he realized in moments like that, that he shot himself in the foot. And then his, his arguments of his whole panel saying that they see a smaller side doesn't mean anything. You know, these are just these are just dumb men making dumb points. You know, lack of understanding, not well enough educated. That's the only way you can think the earth is flat, is to be ignorant and not well enough educated. So anyway, for the men on that panel who need to work on their intelligence, here's some real knowledge. Here's what I was trying to teach you. Jesus Christ was a black man in the Bible. He had hair of wool. He had bronze skin. All of these numbers, they come from the Bible. And we are lied to in all sorts of ways. You know, the sun very well might not be 93 million miles away. That measurement goes back to the Greeks in the Hellenistic period. That's when this discovery was made about the distance of the sun. And as far as I know, they didn't use monistic period 93, the period where they traced the distance of the sun. The Greeks took their knowledge from the Egyptians. You see? Here's something else you need to know, people on that panel. They used Kyrie Irving in the NBA last year to come out and say that the Earth's flat. Understand all these NBA players are paid for puppets. The reason they used Kyrie Irving is because Washington Irving is the historian that said that everybody believed the Earth was flat until Christopher Columbus sailed, which is straight-up bullshit. Notice the name Washington Irving equals 223. That's just like flat Earth theory. And that's another important biblical number. 
in the Bible, there's a letter written to the church of Philadelphia about the synagogue of Satan who will rule in the end times. Now, if you're not aware of this, the capital of flat earth in the United States is Zion, Illinois, the town of Zion. Zionism is the synagogue of Satan, the false Jews, the people who claim to be Jews, but who are not, because the black people are the true Jews of this earth. Look, Philadelphia, 223, just like the synagogue of Satan is 223, who are the same people who've waged this flat earth theory to dupe the goyim, to dupe the people who aren't educated well enough, you know? Bro Sanchez admitted he's not educated. You're listening to an ignorant man tell you that the earth's flat, a man who doesn't understand the difference between gases and solids, you know? Here's a little lesson for Bro Sanchez who wears his Lakers hat. Look this up. You can prove this too. See, I, I talk about things that are provable. Michael Jordan, 678. Notice that number. Kobe Bryant, 678. You see that? From the day Michael Jordan retired his last game against Philadelphia, the city Kobe's from, two men who had similar basketball careers, from the day Michael Jordan retired to the day Kobe Bryant retired was exactly 678 weeks apart. And it's worse than that. There was a murder of a famous black athlete in Philadelphia exactly 213 days before Kobe scored 60 points. Now think about it. Kobe plays in L.A., home of the 213 area code. It was Moses Malone who was murdered at age 60. He was murdered in the Jewish month that's remembered for Moses. Moses Malone died in that special month that's all about Moses from the Bible. And he died at age 60, like the N-word. 213 days before Kobe finished his career with 60 scripted points. He had to take a million shots, remember. 213 is the LA area code. Let me put up Black History Month one more time. 213. Let me put up Black Panther one more time. 213. By the way, you're looking at the person who explained what Super Bowl 50 would be in October. Who'd win? Who'd be the MVP? What, why there'd be a Black Panther tribute? Why it was all a part of a race war by the code? You know, you're looking at the person who's called out every sports championship well before it happened and what the numbers would be on that game. I teach real knowledge, you know? Real knowledge. Flat Earth isn't real knowledge. It's for real fucking retarded people. Real dumb motherfuckers. Now, Tupac Shakur, his mother was a Black Panther. He released his last album in Black History Month. February on 213. February 13th. And then he died 213 days later on September 13th. Tupac Shakur, 139, 13-9, September 13th. What this number is about is Freemasonry. 139. This number is huge to this nation. America, 139. This nation is a Jewish state, a false Jewish state, 139. Jerusalem, 139. Watch the show Westworld, Westworld, about people who are being used for somebody else's purpose. All of you flat earthers, you're being used for the synagogue of Satan's purpose. Your purpose being duped into this PSYOP is to make the truth community look fucking retarded, which is why I've spoken out about it since it came to this community. The reason it's taken so many people is because so few of us are educated in this nation. You know, so many of us are ignorant. And you can be uneducated and ignorant and see what's wrong in this world. You know, it's a, not a secret that the truth community is full of a lot of Bible thumpers. The flat earth community, it was meant to pull at that wing of the truth community. The Bible thumpers, the people who hang on to things like the four corners of the earth, who don't understand that the Bible has been retranslated a million times. You know, me showing the code in the Bible is different than believing in the Bible because the code is very real in the Bible. You know, again, it begins with the 42 generations of Jesus, with Matthew being the first book, with the word math right in it, 42. By the way, Matthew equals 27. It's the first of 27 books in the New Testament. So, you know, just from talking to a panel of really dumb people, I, I was very clear what I was explaining about 93, and none of them got it. They were like, uh, 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 uh. 
I mean, but granted, I am talking to flat earthers. These are really dumb fucking people. So it, it reminded me in real time how dumb people might react to my work. Just too fucking dumb to get anything that's intelligent. But, I mean, if you listen to these idiots, they were saying things like, uh, when I look out, the horizon looks flat. I mean, th th again, I don't need to explain anymore how fucking dumb these people are, but hopefully you dumb fucking retards who I'm speaking to, who I'm giving this presentation to for the millionth time, I'm hoping you watch it. I'm hoping you can swallow your pride. I'm hoping you can realize that following a, you know, a skinny crackhead, which is obviously what bro Sanchez is, who doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, you know, I'm hoping you can realize that listening to that dumb motherfucker, it's nothing like listening to me. You know, bro Sanchez is a nobody. You know, he's a loser. And he proved that in the debate. He showed he's a con man and a fucking retard. I just gave you some real knowledge. You might be too fucking dumb for it. You might be. But I hope not. I know that everybody can improve their intelligence if they actively work at it. No flat earther is working at improving their intelligence. They're just working at maintaining their ignorance. They're working at, you know, proving... I don't know. That they're fucking retarded. Anybody who just watched that debate, none of the flat earthers could answer any questions. They couldn't answer what the physics are of the sun going around the flat earth, what, what the physics of the moon are, what the physics of the other planets are. You know? Couldn't answer any of it. No answer. All they could go to is things like, well, what about the Gravitron ride? So we'll leave it there. If you think the Earth's flat, you're fucking retarded. Stop commenting on my page. I don't do this work for dumb motherfuckers that are going to discredit us all. If you're too fucking stupid to see that this is proof that the Earth's curved. If you're too fucking dumb to understand that you can't see the same stars from opposite hemispheres, then just shut the fuck up, okay? Just shut the fuck up. Get tired of fucking idiots trying to compare my work to flat Earth too, you know? Drives me fucking nuts. My work. Undeniable. Been proving my points from 2013 on. Making prediction after prediction. Flat earthers, they can't prove shit. This is their third year of their fucking psyop, and not a single one of them sailed to the ice wall. You know? All they do is deny the facts and say that's proof the earth's flat. Like fucking morons. So fuck you, bro, Sanchez. Go smoke some crack and shut the fuck up. There's other ways to pay for your crack habit. Crack's cheap. You don't need to shill online. Leading your black men down in the gutter like where you are. You know? Until next time, true.